Hello, welcome to the module safety of the MOOC Smart Light concept. In this video, I will discuss the purpose of public lighting and its link with safety. As the sun sets, our life doesn't pause till the following day because there's no light. Our activities continue. Doing groceries, going to the gym, meeting friends, or walking in the park are activities that need to occur even when there's no sunlight. Greeks and Roman citizens utilized early lamps. These lamps were primarily used for security, to protect wanderers from stumbling over something on the way, and to keep prospective robbers away. For several decennia, public lighting has been a key service provided by public authorities at the local and city level. The purpose of public lighting is to artificially extend hours in which it's light. Because of this, it can ensure road safety, social safety, and quality of life in public areas in the evening and at night. In this video, the focus will be on social safety and road safety. Public lighting has advantages, but also unwanted consequences like light pollution and energy consumption. Conventional street lighting systems are currently the subject of debate when considering climate change and light pollution. This is because they waste energy by providing light without street users. A solution to avoid this is the use of smart lights. But the goal to save energy and reduce carbon emissions can undermine the major purpose of public lighting, that is ensuring the safety of people, property and goods. Driving at night is riskier because 25% of all car traffic occurs between 7 p.m. and 8 a.m. However, in this time frame, 40% of fatalities and significant injuries occur. Visual information is harder to obtain in the darkness than in daylight, since human eyes can discern objects, colors, and movement less. Public lighting can support human vision at times and in location without natural light. For decades, public lighting has been used to prevent road traffic accidents. Social safety is a broad concept. It is frequently defined differently. In any case, social safety always implies safeguarding against human-caused risks and crime. The concept of social safety can be evaluated both objectively and subjectively. In an objective sense, it refers to all forms of criminality, annoyance and degradation. In a subjective sense, it is one sense of security, so the perception of safety. The perception of safety refers to how safe people believe they are, regardless of their actual unsafety or safety. Although objective and subjective safety can be linked, it is not required. As a result, environments with a high rate of criminal activities can be perceived as safe, and environments with low levels of crime or annoyance might be perceived as unsafe. In the SLIC project, the focus was on the perception of people's safety, not their actual safety. Based on the literature review, perceived safety and fear of crime are related. Fear of crime is considered a key factor against the feeling of safety. The direct impact that fear of crime has on people's behavior can cause limited use of public spaces at night and therefore cause an increase in crime rates. Nowadays, street lights are widely considered an effective tool for reducing crime. They have become a common environmental design investment and a key component of many crime prevention through environmental design. Lighting is viewed as a technological technique to generate more opportunities for natural surveillance under the internationally recognized crime prevention through environmental design approach. Public lighting has also become a spearhead of the Dutch police in recent years. Thank you for watching this video.